and it's gonna be what up this is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise we got another one Travis Scott Rodeo first album now Travis Scott to me is a very difficult artist to listen to and let me explain it this man makes very good fucking he makes music most of your artists most of your artists make music besides Wiz Khalifa maybe most of your most Travis okay so let me explain this <laughs> I'm stumbling on my words basically Travis Scott makes music and compositions that nobody else in the game can make that's what makes him so difficult to listen to because his compositions and his beats are so layered and complex he's like on hard difficulty you guys are on like medium some are on medium some got better bars J. Cole or Tra Travis Scott's compositions and the way he does his beats and his, the switches up and the, how he plans it and how he goes into every song is so complicated and so advanced I had to make sure it was recording okay so it's so advanced that it's, it's hard to listen to him it's a difficulty it's a difficulty curve listening to Travis Scott I don't think that's a bad thing though I'm not saying that's a bad thing you're supposed to be you want to be difficult to listen to you want to set trends you want to you want you want to be able to do things that most people can't do and Travis Scott has perfectly executed it. So we got his first album, Rodeo. He got a co-sign from T.I. and Kanye. Travis Scott has one of the most weirdest contracts ever. Because I, I, don't, I don't know his situation. So let's go over the features. We got T.I., Quavo, Future, 2 Chain, Juicy J, Casey Hill, The Weeknd, Sway Lee, Chief Keef, Kanye, Justin Bieber, and Young Thug on one song, Schoolboy Q, SZA, and Tinashe. Let me say this about Tinashe. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of her. I, I like her energy. I like the way she handles things. I'm a huge fan of Tinashe. Tinashe, Tinashe, Tinashe is a, Tinashe is a star to me. So I don't understand why the label don't get it. I don't understand why people don't understand that Tinashe is a star. We need to give Tinashe more light to Tinashe. And I'm definitely going to be doing my best to put her on my playlist. So let's go into Travis Scott's second album. Birds in the Trap Sting Brian Benight. Um I think at this time he was going out with uh, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner was going out with Travis Scott before. There was a lot of controversy because allegedly she was underage. Seemed like they were trying to pull some slick shit. Allegedly, I don't know. We don't want to pin no crime on nobody, you know what I mean? <laughs> but Travis Scott picked her up, got her pregnant. And now, they're separated. Ah, ah. Okay, so, let's go over. That shit hurt. <laughs> let's go over. Let's go over the features. We got Andre 3000, Swiss Beats, Kid Cudi, Black Youngster, Kid C I said Kid Cudi already, Nav, Cassie, 21 Savage, Kendrick Lamar, Bryson Tiller, Young Thug, Quavo, Stara, Cassie, The Weeknd, I had a song with Offset on there, yeah that's it, See, there's not much to say about Travis Scott because Travis Scott isn't in much controversy until we get to Astro World. 
Now, Astro World and Nicki Minaj's Queen dropped at the same time, I believe. And Travis Scott beat Nicki. There was also a lot of controversy because Nicki wanted Drake on the album. Drake didn't show up on Nicki's album, but then he showed up on Travis Scott's album. But just like I said on my ram with the Rick Ross video, Nicki Minaj already did Drake wrong, allegedly. You already did your your co you you basically you basically set set the you basically set the move and emotion to destroy your your label mate. And you didn't even say, hey, hey, you didn't even say, hey, babe, that's not cool. You ain't say that. You ain't think logically, you know what I mean? Like, that shit ain't right, man. Thinking about it, this is, just thinking about this shit makes me not like Nicki Minaj. And I think the issue, and I'm going to make this brief because I'm not going to keep going in with uh about women but i think the issue is is that when men when men coincide in world in the world we understand that there's rules women coincide with the with the world they have the same they have the same quote-unquote rights and they're free like men now but they don't want to follow rules they want to they want to go with this man then this man but not explain they want to Fuck on this man. Or they want to be with this man. Then they see a better man. They want to go to him. They don't want to explain. They don't want to explain anything. They want to make more money. But then they want you to pay for everything. You see what I mean? They're picking and choosing what they get. Men men can't do. You can't, you can't do that. You got to deal with the good and the bad. Women just want to deal with the good. So that's what's happening as far as the world right now. Women are women have to start adjusting. Women are gonna start having to come at men now. You know, women are gonna start having to pay for dates. I know this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous as fuck right now, but this this video is gonna age pretty well. Should age pretty well. Um they're going to have to do the approach. They're going to have to start explaining their decisions. They're going to they're going to have to start paying for dates. You know, things are changing, man. But enough of that. Let's get into Travis Scott's Afterworld. Oh yeah, it was it was on Nikki. We was on Nikki. And Nikki was mad and complaining and saying crazy shit to niggas and all this shit and Travis Scott cheated and this and this and that. Now what do you now now what's your next move after that? Because now you can't you can't expect to get a song from Travis Scott. You can't get a song from Drake now. You know, you didn't block yourself out. It was uh, it was you you got to be smarter than that. There's no more, oh, she's a woman, take it easy on her. No, we're treating everybody fairly. We're treating everybody fair. We're treating y'all fair. Y'all want to be treated fair, right? Everybody's getting treated fairly. But, but then y'all want to cherry pick. You can't cherry pick. You can't do that. So Afterworld beats Queen. And let's go over the features. We got Frank Ocean, Big Hawk. Sway Lee, Drake, Philip Bailey, James Blake, Kid Cudi, DJ the Chicago Kid, Shaq West, Rest in Peace Juice World, Tame Impala, Pharrell, The Weeknd, 21 Savage, Gunna, Nav, Don Tolliver, Quavo, Takeoff, and then I added a watch with Lil Uzi Vert and Kanye West. So this is his latest outing, Astroworld, and Travis Scott did this beautifully because we were waiting for Astroworld for over a year. So there was already hype behind Astroworld. Nobody knew what Nicki was coming out with. 
you know, and then the fact that you make terrible decisions, the fact that Nicki Minaj makes terrible decisions. You see what I mean? We're treating you fair, but you can't. It, 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 it's almost like the only way you can survive is by being treated in an unjust, unfair manner. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Your whole stick, Nikki, is for people to accept you for what you do and this and this and that, and that's just not realistic. You see what I mean? You can't you can't keep making bad decisions and expect people to support you. You can't go off on people like that. You can't just go off on people like that. That you you can't do that. You can't do that. Just because you have a boyfriend. You can't just go off on people. People remember that shit. And it seemed like it's this delusion. It's this delusion where it's like, oh, I was a woman, I was in my feelings. No, we're not using those excuses. We're treating everybody fairly. Stop cherry picking what's the good side so you can get away with shit and, and, and feel entitled. Man, like, just, just thinking about this shit, it's making me not like Nicki Minaj. You know, just the way she does things. And you can be a boss and tell people to do things. You have the right to do that. You have that right. You do. You really have that right. A woman can tell a man what to do. I wholeheartedly agree with that. A woman can be a man's supervisor. I wholeheartedly agree with that. But... Women just got to find their way. They're, they got to find their way and they got to adjust to how the world works and how to communicate with people and how to how to follow the rules of society. That way we don't go into no crazy chaos type shit. You know what I mean? Man, every time I talk about Nikki, I have to I have to address toxic women. Uh, but yeah, that's a brief intro on Travis Scott. You know. Let me know what you guys think about Travis Scott. And yeah, that's about it. Anyway, peace.